Hello, I'm ABX, so yeah, and welcome back to the video. Today I have something that you're probably not going to believe because the 1.5 update just came out for Minecraft on the Bedrock Edition. This is Minecraft Xbox, Minecraft PE, Windows 10, etc. And it's really confusing because when we excited for the 1.3 and then the 1.4 update, and the answer to that question is yes. So this is the beta 1.5.0.0 update. This won't be called the 1.5 update when it releases. Why is it called that now? They just said don't get caught up in the naming. So, you know, there's no official reasoning. But the 1.5 update has officially come out for Minecraft Bedrock, and it's a really exciting update filled with brand new changes and really really interesting stuff like skeleton horses and uh, or like changes to skeleton horses I should say, uh, changes to husks, changes to a bunch of other undead mobs and in today's video we'll be going through it. Hopefully you all do enjoy this. You can like this video, you do like it because it helps out the channel a lot. Let's know you do enjoy this whole video and want to keep on seeing uh, the weirdities that do come out of the Minecraft machine because the 1.5 update is something no one was expecting. Like we were, we were seeing like slow incremental betas like okay I guess we're near the end now but this update added a bunch of different small things that in my opinion again get me more and more excited just by themselves so for instance the very first change they've been this update is that when you find a dolphin in your underwater like we're gonna look for right now over here if you feed them a raw fish has to be the sort of fish they accept they'll guide you to the nearest uh, ocean ruins or a shipwreck this is a really cool feature by itself because as you can see uh, you know they've got like a brand new functionality unlike pretty much any other mob we've ever seen uh, and again that allows you to locate these undersea things and honestly that's great because you can find these by them by yourselves if you really want to but the fact that we've got like a yeah, it's kind of like an IF Ender, but it's built into a dolphin. I think that's great. I think that's a wonderful change. And it's now the dolphin's real uses in the game. And again, later on, it's going to be even swimmable. You can grab onto it. But for now, you can have a dolphin do that. And that's nice by itself. The second thing is that undead mobs will now sink in water and can walk to the bottom. So if we take a husk, for instance, and we put them all the way above the ocean, like in this place right here, as you can see, the mob will sink. It won't try to swim. And it will actually walk on the bottom of the ocean. And it will try and attack me if I go down there. So again, watch out if you don't want husks or creepers or anything else attacking you because if they're at the bottom of the ocean even though they can't swim down there they will still try to get you so also as a fun little related fact uh, husks that have sunk in water will transform into zombies and zombies will transform into drown so this had actually made its way to the pc in the update before but now it's here on the you know it's it's here on the bedrock version too and the interesting change that wasn't on the java version is the fact that husks turn into zombies so if you want to get a husk and turn it into a drowned there's two steps to that process the first step is having the husk drown you know like be sunk in water and eventually drown into a zombie then the zombie has to drown into a, uh, a drown so I don't know what the reasoning behind that one is personally like again that's such a weird thing to like see and experience but it is a real thing in this update as you've now experienced it's, I'm not just making this stuff up this is real uh, Minecraft stuff and again I'm kind of on board of it so I like that next up we have a really cool change to have skeleton horses so skeleton horses uh, alongside zo uh, zombie horses are kind of features you don't see very often zombie horses aren't in the main game and skeleton horses are super super rare but fun fact you can ride them in creative if you want to without a saddle so that's kind of nice uh, they're, they're the ideal horse for playing creative and they're also the ideal horse now for underwater travel so if you have a skeleton horse and you've had one this whole time and you've wondered why why do these exist what's the deal there the answer is going to be answered in the update aquatic that's right the update aquatic update for dolphins update for fish update for all these things but the biggest thing that everyone's forgetting or that hasn't been mentioned till just now is it's the update for underwater travel by <laughs> by, uh, by horse as well. This is the most ridiculous thing you can do in this update. Seriously, look, look at this horse trying its hardest to swim. But yeah, you can now have underwater or you can have skeleton horses ride underwater. And as you can see, <laughs> we've got another one over there. Uh, it's kind of a wacky concept. Personally, I don't think it's going to see too much use because you need to have a water breathing potion. But I love the idea. Like again, just the, the creativity this unlocks. The fact that this makes me want to go get a skeleton traps so that I can, you know, have some Nautilus beacons underwater, some conduits. That is something that is great. That is what Minecraft's all about. I am really glad to see it. This is one of those tiny changes that most people will never experience, but that when you do experience, it's going to make you pretty darn happy. So, big, big fan of this. Uh, you know, this this makes up for the whole confusing update name just by itself, because again, look at this, look at this. I can spin fast on the horse. It's amazing. It's super exciting. And even the dolphin is on board. Like, dolphin, take us to the nearest place. Let's go there together. Me, the horse, and the dolphin. So, <laughs> yeah, let's move on to this uh, change. Again, I really can't state how much I love this one, but we're going to have to run out of time eventually to do that. And we move on to the next change, which is that skeletons and straight will switch from range to melee attacks while underwater, and then switch when back out of water. This is a really, really wacky one when you think about it, because if we grab ourselves a straight egg, uh, or, you know, let's, let's just do that, we'd have to go and survive with this one, so if you grab yourself a straight or a, a thing egg, they will actually attack you with melee underwater because they know that their arrow sucks. So this is another buff to skeletons, like, do they need it? I guess they do, apparently, so we're gonna just, uh... Go game mode, uh, I'm doing this horribly wrong. <laughs> game mode and then S for survival. It lets you do that now, apparently. 
uh, as you can see. Uh, we're going to spawn in a straight just over here. As you can see, he knows that he can't use his bow, even though it's enchanted, because it just doesn't work down here. So instead, he tries to hit me with his bow, and now I've got slowness. So that's terrible. But yeah, uh, I think that's an interesting change they made in this update. They made them melee-based uh, mobs when they're underwater, and that's just a kind of wacky change. Next up, so let's go to creative real quick. Remove, uh, oh, it won't let me go back, apparently. Uh, let's try that again. Press it there. So yeah, it gets, it gets really weird trying to use a controller keyboard. I, I know you can probably hear what's going on there. So next up, let's talk about um, the fact that they've changed bolts on the keyboard and mouse controls. So again, most of you don't use keyboard and mouse because you play Pock Edition or you play console. But if you do, they've changed the controls there. It's now A, S, and A. They made it a little bit more convenient, basically. That's a thing. And my battery's low, so... Better go get some more of those off this. Uh, we've also got improved player swimming to the surface of the water. Uh, this is super fluid stuff. So as you can see, I'm swimming. It's nice. Look at me in the top left there. And as soon as I go on the water, it kind of like just fluidly climbs me up like I'm going up some half snaps or something. Again, it's really fluid. It's really nice. Swimming's just that little bit nicer of this update. Like look at look at the model. Okay, I'll, I'll do it in full third person now. Look at the model and the way it changes. It's really, really satisfying to see. Like just, oh, there we go. Now we're running. A uh, big fan of it. Like it a lot. Like just just, again, a solid change. Bedrock exclusive right now, but it will no doubt be in the next Java snapshot, in one of the next Java snapshots. Tridents can now be enchanted with mending and unbreaking. Uh, surprised that wasn't there before. It was there on the Java edition, but now it's here in Bedrock. You can put mending, which is obviously uh, XP gain from killing him up, will now go to your trident instead. And unbreaking, which decreases the odds of uh, your trident taking durability uh, damage by 75%. So obviously, they're ones you would have expected to be in there before the end, but it's nice to know that they're there anyway. Uh, added an animation when using Riptide in the first person perspective. So we're going to change the weather to be nice and rainy, which, again, I, I love that this update has made rain like a real exciting event sometimes. So... If you have a uh, Riptide Trident, which again, these are not gonna be easy to get, but you have one of these and it's raining, then now you get an animation in first person, as you can see, not necessarily like you got before. And they've changed the animation for third person as well. Again, I love the new animation personally. Like, look look at this, this is super cool. Uh, so yeah, brand new, <laughs> brand new stuff going on here. Even without an Elytra, you can fly so easily. And that's something wonderful I love about this update, uh, that it's made like new ways to get around, new ways to fly. Uh, you know, there's the underwater, there's this underwater, it's cool. Overwater, it's even cooler, and uh, the underwater horses thing. Again, just more and more ways to do cool stuff. That's something I like about Minecraft in general. Uh, they've also made it so that Drowned are no longer behind the experimental gameplay toggle. Uh, toggle. Uh, neither are Nautilus shells, and also Drowned now have a chance of spawning holding a Nautilus shell. So if you spawn in enough, you know, Drowned zombies, uh, if you're just Drowned if you want to call them that, uh, they will eventually have a Nautilus shell because currently they have uh, tridents sometimes, they have, uh, you know, uh, they have fishing rods sometimes, and they've uh, had a chance so that they'll drop their, th uh, you know, the th they'll have a, a Nautilus shell instead, which is going to be one of the ways of getting those. So yeah, not a shell. And uh, basically this update is a really great one because they've made dolphins better. They made this better, which is, a, this is the fan favorite feature, right? Like who, it's impossible not to love the Riptide Trident. It's just impossible. Yeah. Try, tell me you don't love it. Cause I, I, I assure you, you're lying to me. So <laughs> yeah, it's one, one of the best features been improved. They've made it so you can have skeleton horses below water. There's underwater horses in this update. That's, that's cool. Um, we've got the, uh, dolphins and in general, this was a really cool beta. Uh, again, it was worthy of the 1.5, uh, notation. It's going to be really confusing because the next beta, or the previous beta, is going to be 1.3 point something or 1.2 point something again. Again, a uh, really confusing beta system name, but we'll have to work with it for now, I guess. And just know that the 1.5 update is out, but the 1.5 update is the beta for the 1.4 update. And uh, the numbers are not as important as they used to be. But that's that's fine, because it's a cool update and it makes up for it. So, hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, like it if you did like it, because it helps out the channel. Let's know you do like these, again, beta reviews, snapshot reviews, showing you all the new features. Again, it's something I really love to do, and it's something I do with the help of all of you, and the likes, and the, the support, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, oh, one, one key thing, actually. I want to mention this, because it happened in the latest beta, for my or latest snapshot. They nerfed boats, right? They made nerfs a little bit less, you know, powerful than they would be before. So, actually, let's, this is really, really important. This is my, this is perhaps my favorite feature, or, like, it's up there, as far as just, this is ridiculous. I love this. So, uh, they nerfed the boats on the, uh, the Java version, as far as uh, Blue Ice has gone. However... Guess what hasn't been nerfed on Bedrock? Oh yeah, it's here. With pretty much full speed as far as I can tell. Um, yeah, so boats, they're amazing. Look how fast we can go. Really fast is the answer to that question. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, like if you liked it, share if you liked it. Thank you for supporting the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Uh, oh, it just went over 10 minutes. Oops, goodbye.